The incorrect summary of Ultra Kill Act 2. I watched Act 1 last week, and I basically told you if you leave enough likes, we'll get to the new one. And you left enough likes, so we're getting to the new one. Ultra Kill Lore and Rule 34. I will have you know that ever since watching the latest Ultra Kill video, check this thumbnail ad that I've made. You see, I don't like when React people just steal thumbnails, so I had to improve it. I have done so much Rule 34 lore research on Ultra Kill. I have to say, I am quite the Ultra Kill lore horny extra. I, without playing, uh, no one has seen as much Ultra Kill Rule 34 as I have for a guy that's never played this game. So let's just jump right into Act 2. This video is uh, really normal, I swear. <laughs> Lust, all gone. With gluttony soon to follow. Your kind know nothing but hunger, purged all life on the upper layers, uh -oh. and yet they remain unsatiated. Oh no! As to you, you've taken everything from me, machine, and now all that remains. I don't want to say anything that'll get me in trouble with the hardcore Christians, but I've seen a lot of Gabriel porn. That sounds so wrong. Is perfect hatred. Dog, why is the editing so good? The narrative and the editing. Hey there, everyone. It's me, your favorite true crime content creator. Back at it again with a new crazy prank. I'm gonna keep this one brief since this video is a ultra kill. If you haven't played it, that's great. Watch my videos. I think it's the best game ever made. You know, most games nowadays kind of look like... It's so beautiful. I have to roll the gotcha. Ultra Kill doesn't do that. Instead, we get fucking insane developers. Honestly, though, what's better? The beautiful, god-tier, breathtaking graphics of Elden Ring or the sheer width of Ganyu's thighs? Welcome to the game where blood is fuel, hell is full, and a fumo destroys the earth. It's uh, definitely an experience. Do you ever look upon the pyramids and think Ooh, that would be a crazy story? It was a JoJo reference. It wasn't Among Us. It was better. It was superior. Do you feel bad about missing out on the Titanic? Or are you a simple man who wants to fish peacefully? If so, then uh, I guess this game counts. And, uh, How does every game have fishing? I'm going to spread misinformation about it. You know, I think there's a reason this takes place in hell, but I can't exactly put my finger on it. My goofy ass actually bought this like, yeah, I'm ready for some normal games. Oh, dog, son, I've seen a much better version of this. Well, what's this pose called again? The Jacko pose? I've done some research. I've done a tad bit of simp scanning. Gabriel is the hottest character in Ultra. I mean, a great villain. <laughs> Surprise, Bruh. bitch. Welcome back to Act 1. I was browsing the internet a few seconds ago when I happened upon arcane information. You know, after I changed the wiki page. As it turns out, King Minos is not a rich man. I think it's a bad idea to spend your entire city budget on bisexual lighting. This presents a problem. That was tr clearly translating. Are you, are you transphobic? Denying the lights of their identity? Problem for us, because, uh... Well, I can't really ask him to pay. So if I can't charge his body, then God damn it, I'm going to charge his soul. No That's exactly what they say about billionaires in America. Nobody escapes the wrath of the IRS. That is where this level comes in. Rather, all of them. This door represents every level. And if you don't complete them perfectly, then it doesn't open. Trust me, I tried to no clip and was cast into the void. That means no mistakes, no time, no checkpoints. We're using the video game alphabet. And because every copy of this game is personalized, we've got a lot of levels to beat. I'm sure this is exactly what Hikita wanted. It was me, Barry. I'm the one who posted the Moai emoji. This level has this cool <laughs> speedrun strat called up, so better watch out, Genshin players. I thought it would be obvious. Please, brother. anything but this. It's What's making my synapses look like a rave. I'm going to abbreviate Cyberpunk. Biggest mistake of my life. R hey, Among Us sound effect, we drink, baby! Take the leaves up, Samurai. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Wait, so, is there a part of this video that you actually have to just re- 
play the previous level? I do not have any issues. No shit, it's this guy again. I'm going to send you back to God. Hey, can you make change for this? Such so much good porn to this guy. How can this Shut up. This was not worth it, I say to my Bitcoin assassin. So the next level starts what? and it's in Japan. There's this secret boss named Hatsune Miku. Then we open her up like a can of sardine. No, actually it's a spinal staircase. What they call the it the frick? spine vine. It's like I have such a hard time watching his videos on games that I've never played. Cause I have no idea what if he's if what he's saying is even remotely real or not. What on God's green earth is that? Dude, you know the creepiest thing in the world that they just put in video games and it becomes 10 times creepier? Flesh. I, I don't know what's so creepy about it. We all have flesh. But it's like, oh, this level, you are uh, walking upon flesh with flesh on the walls. The enemies are flesh. This music's time signature is fucked. Welcome to HP Minecraft. Dude, Geometry is also the scariest villain. The fucker's using creative mode. This boss is here to teach your limbs how to file restraining orders. And to do that, he's got a lot of shit to dodge. I like to call it Toho's Bizarre Adventure. Now, his attacks <laughs> might not seem that bad until you have to dodge all of them at once. I don't know what those things are doing, but uh... Oh, it's worse. So, on top of summoning 9 billion eyeballs, the fu Flesh and Geometry is the worst combo. The fucker uses them to heal. Oh my god, he's fucking doing it. No. I uh, hope you're a good shot, because I'm certainly not. To beat this boss, we need to target at the healthcare system, just like Ronald Reagan, preferably using heavy ordinance. This guy's looking like a, looking like a square. I really wasn't expecting to fight the Kaaba today. Oh my fucking oh, god, I'm oh, speeding no! my- Dude can literally say everything. He says so many things. How are you gonna cancel him on a point one second long joke? Great. I almost forgot that I was in hell. Flesh is not supposed to be hard, unless I'm reading a certain something. I bro, bro, the, the freaking, it's, it's always, it's always more of the- I almost forgot that I was in hell. Flesh is not supposed to be hard, unless I'm reading ah! a certain something. I'm really into this ah, game for the good story. Yeah. So I like his story. I was an Among Us sound effect we drink. Plentiful, but thankfully we can overcome- Dude, say what you want about Genshin, the porn- Dude, Genshin porn is so good. Come this boss by using a cool new secret called Trial and Error. Tell your friends about it. And although this basic geometry could be a little hard, our journey has definitely prepped us. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be introducing his skull to the concept of a circle. Aha! He didn't take it very well. Excuse me, what the, the Elden fuck? Ring! Ah, oh. oh, free at last. Oh, hey, good. I'm here for the uh, outstanding good. dollar. Spent all of it on. Oh my god, it's Whole Guy from freaking uh, Spider Man! Perks! What? My blood is a controlled substance in 39 states. Excuse me? I have personally killed 12 trillion people! That doesn't oh. sound very fun. Oh, on the fucking contrary. <laughs> Credit cards for my fucking perks. Hey guys, Maxor here, back from the secret government beef fights. I was trying to drink the airport jungle juice. And today, we're going to be fighting the only boss entirely accessible in Gary's Mod. This was a deliberate choice by the publishers to include DLC. Isn't nature just domestic? Minos Prime is not an easy boss. You're going to be quite familiar with all of his attacks, because he will not stop screaming them. Moves such as Judgment, Die, Thy End is Now, I Will Have Order. These attacks will bookend your obituary. Bussy trembles. And they will do it really fucking fast. And yes, that is why the video looks bad. This game is no longer a first-person shooter. It's Melania, Blade of Michelin. You're a fairy, don't you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Time to learn. This is the first boss ever designed to be fought in your peripheral vision. I played this at Grandpa's Bro! funeral and he started beating the shit out of the toaster. <laughs> P-ranking the game was not a test. It was a warning. So if I were to give advice, it would be to listen. This little shit is hard, and you're going to die a little bit. However, there isn't a single move that you can't counter. Not to mention he announces them quite loudly. Jesus Christ. So if he seems difficult, that is a skill issue. One that makes your camera look like it's in the washing machine. Ultimately- Dude, I feel like my my mind is just turned to mush every time I react to his videos. Minos is a noble soul, and he's going to give you a noble death. What you do in between is up to you. But if there was a crime I was willing to forgive, it would definitely be public embezzlement. In fact, it isn't a crime at all. <laughs> it's an obligation. So, how's about I uh, help him with his investments? Bruh. Murder is an obligation too. Forgive me, my people, for I have failed you. Creature of steel, you have shown me the error of my ways. W really? <laughs> of course not. You can pry my prescription for my cold, dead hands, bitch. I'll take my crypto to the afterlife. 
Well, that was normal. Almost as normal as his, uh, entertainment. And all it took was uh, a few tries. Hey guys, welcome back. Part of the beauty of watching Maxor videos, you know, he has so many references that you get. And everyone gets the references. You know why? Because he has so many millions of references. And every one second clip, someone will recognize something. Look at this. All it took was uh, a few tries. Look at this. What is even happening on the screen right now? Hey guys, what? Th that's how my orgy looked last week when I was blindfolded. Back to. Oh he no! Chipped. Not slavery. We're here to find fucking Dio. This level represents a great Dio. increase in heat since apparently the sun exists. This is news to me. We're here with the Stardust. Manga sound effect. We drink. Crusaders to uncover the secret past of the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid, and one of those secrets looks kind of a. Uh, what is it doing? Looks kind oh of. Oh God! It's an I angel. want to introduce you to my favorite enemy. It's an anatomically correct angel. The worst. <laughs> The scariest freaking thing in the world. The light of Allah. Your location is irrelevant, and so is theirs. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, it will find you, and it will give you Discord light theme. Oh my god, it's a sex offender summoning circle. Do not tell Twitter. Hang on a second. I think this is... Holy shit it is. This is the best game ever made. I fucking love Coinstar. I'm going to teach you motherfuckers a smithin' lesson. This is just like my favorite Aha! movie, Bible Shrek. Ramses, let my people in. <laughs> let my people in. Oh my god. So the beauty is, uh, when you watch um, Maxor videos, you have to make sure you're using enough, uh, you have enough of a caliber in your gun so that when you kill yourself after, <laughs> after getting a seizure or two, it goes smoothly. <laughs> No, 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 it can't be. No. The birds are real. The game wants you to make a bridge, so just, uh, do a slam storage long jump. If you do it wrong, you'll ascend to heaven. Wait, so what happens if I pick up two of them? Oh, I'm not no. sure it works like that. Nobody helps me do the dishes in this fucking house. So that means if I get another one, then... Yep. Jesus Christ, I, I can't hear anything. So we finish playing Squidward wow. mode, and instead move on to more enriching activities, such as... Hurricane Cyber. Fuck, I need that to sleep. This boss just has a rock. And a Dude, you're already in hell. You might as well. Why play Genshin? Apparently a flexible schedule. This Rust server fucking sucks. His main attacks are jumping and beating you with a rock. You know, like a monkey. Me, when I see an ableist online, I am a canist. So this fight is weird. But don't worry, he doesn't have to stay there. You might be able to run away. Temporarily. So, uh, jump height scales with distance. Bro, this man has the range of the beast titan. Oh god, he's coming. My brother in Christ, this is the spawn. Jesus, that's the actual noise it's making. Oh god, there's a Palestinian in the elevator. Yeah, this team- Whoa! How does he get away with these lines? How do you cut that out of context? <laughs> there's no way! It's pretty normal to me. I think he's gone. Oh, machine. Are you hiding what? from me? So yeah, it's a pretty cool boss, I guess. I love playing Five Evenings of Friedrichs. Guys, Max, we're here, and in this video, we're going to be trapped under the Denver airport. They uh, didn't turn on the lights, so this is the dark level. You can tell because of the gameplay. This seems a little familiar. I am fucking lost. These encounters are very spooky because you literally don't know what's in the room with you. It could be anything. It could be anyone. Hey oh, guys, no, Mr. Beast Mr. Beast here, Beast. and today I've hidden $40,000 inside your skin. The first one to tear it off wins. My favorite moment is when we enter Ramsey's nuclear reactor. I love playing inside the seizure room. It's the best. Heading backwards. Your entire video is a seizure room. So to the adrenochrome harvesting, we come upon something that chilled me to the bone. The crypt of dead YouTubers. We've oh, got no. Pine Sauce, Markiplier, other people. And one day, my channel will join them. Six feet under. Who the fuck is knocking on my tomb? Do you know what time it is? Is that Mandalore Who are you? That's right. This isn't a cameo. Mandalore is yet to answer my emails. The devs put a YouTuber in the game as a boss, and they gave him a total of two attacks. Full auto and fuller auto. Only real Mandalore heads will get this one. But despite all of that, this is actually very fun. It feels as janky as it sounds, and I'm all for it. Plus, it's harder than, like, half the bosses in the game. Bro. Oh god, they coded the game that way. This is just the best shit ever made. 
So, uh, welcome everyone to Tennessee. We've got t-shirts, men's apparel, oh, no. men's general hunting, uh, camping, no. marine center, mass pro shops. That's my way of saying we're in a pyramid. It's just, uh, something feels a little bit off about this place. Oh, well. Ah, oh, the manga sure. sound effect, we drink! Nothing to worry about. Hello, brother. No, fuck. I believe you have something of mine. Let's something go. very important. Can you please speak like a normal person? <laughs> How's about this for a trade? I beat you into a fucking pulp. And you give me my arm back. I totally get it. I'm not gonna charge you an arm. Oh my god, he's just an arm! Literally me. We're so much alike. Welcome to the most psychotic shit in a video game. I've said it before and will say again. This fight is not made for humans. You know, like my videos. We're supposed to be killing each other with rocks. I quit using meth for good. Now I use it for evil. This fight is very similar to last time, except much worse. Now he moves as fast as me, if I was good at the game. But thankfully, I am not. This shit is like speedrunning Carpal Tunnel. What's the matter, brother? Does your arm hurt? Because I can fix that! It is a challenge to look in V2's direction, let alone shoot him. Thankfully, for those of us who can't aim, there is a solution. Oh, you mother... But that's right. If you aren't fast enough, he shoots your coins for you. And what's worse, he can toss them too. Meaning half the battle is a slap fight with nickels. I came here to play a shooter, not a fucking constellation. This shit is like a cartoon battle in a dust cloud. Dude, and if that wasn't insane. fast enough for you, don't worry. You can enrage V2 at any time by punching him with his own arm. You motherfucker! <laughs> he loves it when you do that. Ultimately, V2 could be easy or he could be hard. Easy in that he's limited by your moveset, but hard in that he's only limited by your moveset. We've learned so much during our journey, and unfortunately, so is he. But we have grown in the one way that V2 never could. Emotionally. So how's about we teach him how to cope with failure the old-fashioned way? You get back here right this fucking instant. Gotta get away. Gotta get away. Oh no. Your form is incredible. No! Is he okay? He's just so dummy thick. His ass cheeks are just alerting the guards! You thought I would skip this, didn't you? No, I was merely waiting for nighttime. You know, like Skyrim? I'm a big fan of the horror gameplay. Come here, buddy. There he is. Make sure to walk your dog every day. Now I'm free to do all kinds of things, like gazing upon the false sun, climb the Eiffel Tower, this is the texture, and uh, trapping my dog in hell. His sins are yet to be forgiven. I think it's best if we just leave him to it. Never mind. This is not good. Hey guys, welcome to my new and original game. I'm finding it. I'm, I'm finding it a bit of an adjustment. I mean, what do you want me to say? Wait, it's literally just hash brown coot. The wrath of God is pretty new though. They, they, they even have my favorite character. Bad depth perception. Freaking Gee, I wonder what this section's gonna be like. Oh God, it's the funny rock again. Stop posting about the rock. I'm tired of seeing it. In the future, all humor will be randomly generated. So yeah, this part is actually really good. I haven't played. Dude, your videos feel like the humor is randomly generated, and then you just say something absolutely hilarious. Everyone. Something like this since Uncharted 4? Hey guys, it's me, Nathan Drake, and um, Subway. I think it's best if we just kind of, you know, move on. The simulation is beginning to break down. Hey guys, Max over here. Back at it again in the Chinese lead mines. The children love it. It's just like Minecraft. <laughs> The Chinese love it. It's just like Minecraft. They get to build shit. Oh no. So you guys remember V2, right? I know it's been a long time. Well, he really gave us a hand. Again, this is the grappling hook, and it's really good at bypassing the entire game. It's also quite simple. You either catch the fish, or the fish catches you. It can lead to some odd results. So we head through the halls of the Jiangxi Copper Company, at which point I accidentally fell into the weaker disposal shaft. So, uh, welcome to the water level. And by water, I mean fucking moon gravity. I really like how all the audio sounds like it's in the other room. In this mission, we need to locate the bodies by navigating a series of infamous cave disasters, all with gameplay indistinguishable from a flight simulator. You know, as far as water levels go, this is not horrible. It's just a little bit quiet. I don't like having to hear my own thoughts. Zoomers when I take away their TikTok during grandma's funeral. Also of note in this level is the new Chris Kyle enemy, but unfortunately, Zoomers. that makes you the Afghani child. Losers. Take your time, fellas. JFK isn't going anywhere. Oh my fucking Whoa. god. This is actually how they die. SCP, this one. Where to go? I think it's uh, time to leave. 
Don't touch any what? So, uh, welcome to the next level. Florida in two years. The entire landscape is a highway to Disney World. So, but Venice last year. Much like the real Florida, this level design is on crack. The space is a little limited. What do you mean, unlike the real Florida? You know, unlike the real Florida, this level design isn't on bath salts, too. Just like the real Miami. It kind of feels like I'm fighting homeless men on stilts. We enter a completely normal cabin where there is an invincible enemy because he is an empath. We need to destroy his psychic link to progress. Trust me, guys, you don't want to face God on the astral plane. As an empath myself, I can sense when enemies die. Also integral to this level is up. Oh no. Resurrecting the Titanic. Jack was sent to hell for his immorality. Normally, of course, you would board the ship so that this guy can kill you for not having a ticket. But if you take a second to explore, you might just find the... A hamter. <laughs> what the what? fuck? This was just the beginning. Next, we're going to be flying backwards across the map. Man, this game's movement is wacko. Naturally, of course, the next step is a sheer cliff face. And with enough explosive ordnance, we can finally reach the... Fumo Demon. And it just so happens no! that we have the perfect sacrifice. Is that actually what you have to do? Oh, no. Thank you. Now I shall lay waste to this world. Uh... What have I done? No, not an anime munchkin! You'll never defeat a chibi! Chibis are too strong! It crashes the game. I think now's a good time to mention that, uh, this official bump of the board. It vibrates in response to damage. Machine, the developers put out a patch on in your prostate now. No! So we decide to board the all expenses paid cruise to Ohio, and that pisses off the guy with the comically large spoon. The same guy that you can pay to skip the boss fight. I'll give you three quarters to fuck off. As we can see, King Bach has presented a rather large spoon to his friend. This shit is like if Garman wanted ice cream, but you told him that he could only have a spoonful. No, but seriously, this boss is very simple, when you can actually see him. It's pretty much just a matter of dodging his very patient attacks. It's a real shame he's a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, dude, if, if only he wasn't... A member of the clan, like, he would be my favorite boss. So after four seconds of very adverse weather, I finally decide to kill a man the only way I know how. The fucking spaghettification. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's how he dies. Okay, bye. Team Rocket is blasting off again. Bruh. Hey guys, welcome back to the Costa Concordia. I swear yeah. to God, that isn't foreshadowing. Our ship is making great headway straight down. Jesus Christ, not this shit again, dude. Uh, attention passengers, if you look to your right, you'll see the um, fucking kaiju. There might be some turbulence. Oh my God, I can't believe it. They added a Scooby-Doo level to the game. The sweet life on I love, I love how they put uh, a cruise ship in the middle of hell because they completely understand exactly how annoying cruises are. Really went downhill after season two. So this is the wacky level. You can tell because my screen looks like cloud vomit. Genuinely, uh, what's happening? This gameplay looks like how Coke smells. Well, I don't know if I'm high on, out of my mind on crack or if I'm watching a Maxor video right now. Can someone touch my hand and tell me if I feel it? Thank God that's out of the way. Looks like it's gonna be a... Uh... Smooth sailing from here. I yeah. mean, just take a look at the skeleton. I bet nothing gets under his skin. What a nice helmsman this man is. Although sometimes I wonder who's steering the ship. Hey guys, Max are here, coming at you live from Bikini Bottom. We've been up, trapped inside the world's biggest washing machine. Mr. Mosby has had enough of my bullshit. He's turned my entire world upside down. <laughs> but here's the thing, we are just playing this level in Mussolini mode, but also in reverse. It's complete with all your favorites from two minutes ago. Only this time, we have to stop Andrew Ryan from making another water park. Hey Jack, would you kindly test out this golf club for me? My god. Um, that's not a good sign. Dude, so, uh, what the enemy of this level is just gonna be that guy from Demon Slayer with the most random powers in the world. Upper five. When they introduced upper five's superpowers, I was like, dog, there is no way this man isn't just a wannabe JoJo stand. Everything I touch becomes fish! <laughs> and I'm just like, what the shit? Welcome back to the water level. On today's episode, visiting SpongeBob. This really is the rock bottom experience. You know, it's not the trip I asked for, but, um, oh, it's about to get a lot more fucking eventful. After all this time, I've finally made it. SeaWorld, Ohio. No. Not Ohio. 
Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to the Bass Pro Shop's final boss. The Shamu hasn't been the same since he tried crack. Top 10 episodes of River Monsters. Number three will surprise you. Honey, would you still love me if I was a worm? I bet you're wondering right about now. How does the game balance such a massive fight? Well, it does not. There are Yay! two different ways to play this boss, and one of them is the wrong way. For instance, you could stay in the platform, dodge his attacks, shoot at him like the government shot Kennedy, and yeah, that would probably kill him. Especially if it was a headshot. Or you can do whatever this shit is. Make sure to walk your dog every day. So uh, this works precisely how it looks. That is to say, like a really good time. Doesn't this gameplay look fun to you? From this moment onward, the ground is now optional. And no, there is no cooldown. The only limit is how hard you can ball. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably asking yourself, how do I ride this? But not only is this a possibility, it is an optimality. How else am I going to shoot what? the screaming child? Just uh, don't spend too long or you'll be- I love shooting children. ...to space. Honestly, um- I mean, what I meant was just to- clarify before that gets clipped out of context some of the creepiest villains in gaming and bosses are just like these deformed babies they're scary and i, and I love uh, beating those bosses best boss of the whole game when i can see him bastard change my zip code is this way to play balanced no is it comprehensible absolutely not i'm kind of just figuring things out as i go but it is definitely very very fun and usually that is all i need now if you don't mind i'm going to go fishing the fun way yay I don't think that was the fun way. Hey there, welcome back to, uh, Bread. We've got varied environments. We've got scary environments. Yay. We've got enough dick measuring. Now it's time for the durability test. At this point, the game is absolutely done with my shit. The enemy count could be described as generous, especially when their attacks take up a half the room. It's less a difficulty spike and more like a difficulty spear. It really doesn't help that the music, uh, sounds like an evil air conditioner. I mean, like, that's scary. Oh. Initiate I forgot this game takes place in hell. Six this shit looks nine. like I color corrected it. Ultra Kill can have a little hell as a treat. So Dude, I feel like one of my eyes is just slowly falling out of my skull. Like, that, like this is... I don't understand. This is eye crack. This is an it like look at what's this happening. Looks like eye color it. Ultra kill can have what a little the frick is this? So we make our way through the spaghetti sauce dimension, a twisted arena that will test every skill in your arsenal. But if you're anything like me, then uh, that isn't many of them. I think hell is having to explain my resume. Hello there. Tell me about yourself. What are your weaknesses? Does your house have any weaknesses? My weaknesses are uh, cute girls and my DMs right now. Machine. Yeah, it's just, it's not easy, easy to have so many bitches. My L's are many and my bitches are few. I mean, my L's are few and my bitches are ad sobbed it then. Just, just kill me. My, I just put my tongue in my shoe. Uh, I know you're here. So do I. I can smell the insolent stench of your blood-stained hands. Okay, that's weird. I await you down below. Come to me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh no, it's the YouTubers. And so far away from a preschool. <laughs> Dude, they're not Minecrafters. Listen, they don't need to be near a preschool. Oh my god, this is exactly what Akita wanted. Welcome to the uh, so we enter up. Uh, this shit is the okay, so we're trying to I don't know what's happening. Avoiding damage here is going to be a task. This fight is as horrifying as it was last time, and that's only made worse when you add the other previous bosses. I feel like I did something to make them mad. The fuckers stole my retinas, can't have shit in heresy. Ultimately, this is a great way to show just how far we've come as a player, both in damage and in movement. And trust me, this requires a lot of movement. Isn't that right, Ghost Akita? I knew I could always oh, count no. on you. I call this one the six foot descent. Aren't you fucking dramatic? The audacity of this man. Oh, that's my favorite Harry Potter book. Harry Potter and the audacity of this bitch. Is this not enough, machine? How much more must your kind devour? Uh, you were talking to a camera. Do you think this is funny? Do you think it's like a joke? Because I'm not laughing. Cope and seethe. I fucking got him. And it's not making me want to kill you less. Now. Peek this sick organ so long. This doesn't mean anything. What? <laughs> Does it mean anything? I'm such an idiot, dude. It's it's Hebrew, but it's written backwards. <laughs> like his Hebrew is read from right to left, not from left to right. It's supposed to be read this way instead of this way. <laughs> Look at the solo, <laughs> dude. It's the wrong backwards. Sick organ so long. Ah, uh, okay. It's nice. Machine, I will cut you down, break you apart, splay the gore of your profane form across the stars! I mean, sounds 
average for a villain, but I, you do have to say it is kind of hilarious that Eminence and Shadow based one of his biggest flexes off this Gabriel guy who has a lot of porn of him randomly. I will grind you down until the very spots cry for mercy. My hands shall relish, ending you here and now. More like the prostate of hate, am I right? <laughs> Sorry. I'm a creative genius. Yes, Welcome yes. to the most spastic shit ever made. A man went to Bible camp for adults. Ecclesiastes 2146. Peter, the horse is here. In our last encounter, <laughs> Gabriel required a lot of patience to beat. Now he requires an act of God. This fight is patience, but faster. That means faster movement, faster attacks, faster commutes to the hospital. And I can't afford health care. Gone are the days of having attack windows. We're skipping straight to God. Like that broken me machine, and he won't read me Bible story tonight. This what? shit is more hits than I have dodges. And distance is not going to save you. We need to think about this boss really hard because this fight is not getting easier. Basically, Gabriel has two different modes, funny mode and racist mode. Racist mode is the default, just like American police. We need ah! to beat the bigotry out of him by carefully convincing the blood to leave his body. The free speech wins again. So after sufficient logical debate is held between two intelligent parties, Gabriel decides that enough is enough and turns on the lights. Now I can see all my mistakes in perfect detail. This is the funny mode because Gabriel finds it out. Pretty music. I, however, do not. Every attack, every toss every bullshit sends my camera into a different hemisphere and if you aren't ready for it that's okay because he is i feel like i am a living concussion watching his country really ready for you in pov you ask for the time in london needless to say this fight is wacky but also really easy not for lack of trying though but rather because of the many lessons that our journey has given us and also the, uh, the horrifying places that we have been i'm looking at you stash trade route look what i'm trying to say is uh, don't be high on crack become crack v2 makes every game easier I feel like I just had a lobotomy from watching this video. I got a lobotomy to watch this video. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> is this my blood? Oh, <laughs> he's just sitting there. Ah. Ah. Family guy style. Ah. I think I broke him. No machine. I've never felt so alive. You're making this weird again. These feelings. I uh, all that. Oh, dude, ripped his hymen. It's rough. It's rough, buddy. All You're there. making this weird again. These feelings. I, I need some time. Did we fight or have sex? Bye. Okay. I miss her, bros. Gabriel. What you do now is treason. We represent the will of God. <laughs> I've had a long time to think about that, Counselor. Uh -oh. And now I realize everything that I had faith in is a lie. Oh, you okay. let your faith be shaken by a camera. Face it, brother. God is dead. Oh Fire my God. Is long gone. If you kill me, Gabriel, You'll be dead within hours. I know. What the fuck? <laughs> how is okay, for a man with the how do you have it all, okay? With editing this good, how could you actually have writing this good? <laughs> Dude got skill gapped wider than the gap between Mona's hips. Oh, why am I doing this? <laughs> My God! How is the editing so good on a video so well written? My God.